Howdy! This is Edward from Valarm. In this video, you'll learn how to make your own industrial IoT remote monitoring boxes for doing sensor telemetry with Valarm. We'll go step by step over the hardware you need and how to install and set it up for your long term remote deployments. See our other videos and our blog for more info on how to set up the Valarm software and use Valarm Tools Cloud at tools.valarm.net. This video has a water monitoring box we made for a customer in California. They're a gigantic environmental consulting agency and monitor water, air, and other environmental factors around the United States. The Valarm box built in this video is used to monitor water wells. Water usage is monitored by water flow meter sensors that count how much water is flowing through pipes. The water levels in the wells are monitored by pressure transducers or water level sensors that are installed deep down in the water well. The steps in this video are very similar for any kind of monitoring you need to do. For example, the solar charge controller, solar panel, battery, sensor hub, and all of that stay the same, whether you're monitoring water wells or anything else. You'll just need to add the sensors specific to your industrial IoT application, like air quality, high-tech transport vehicles with GPS, or any other sensors you have from shop.valarm.net. First, open up your weatherproof box that will be your Valarm monitoring unit. In this case, we're using a NEMA outdoor box made by Bud Industries. Next, install your solar charge controller that charges your battery with solar power from the solar panels and provides power to your Valarm sensor hub and sensors. In this box, we're using a Morningstar SunSaver 6 solar charge controller. Next up is your sensor hub from shop.valarm.net, which sends your remote sensor data to tools.valarm.net via any internet connection, like GSM cell network, Wi-Fi, or Ethernet. At the bottom of the box, attach your sealed lead acid battery that will charge when the sun's out and keep your industrial IoT unit alive and reporting sensor data whenever there's no sun. Now it's time to make some holes for cable glands, aka strain relief connectors. These will keep your Valarm boxes weatherproof while letting critical cables in and out of the box, like power cables and sensor cables. Here we've marked three drill hole points for the three cable glands we need. One cable for the solar panel to connect to the solar charge controller, one cable to connect an external water flow meter to the PWM or pulse width modulation sensor inside the box, which will be counting the ticks, pulses, or spins from the flow meter, and then one cable to connect the pressure transducer or water level sensor to the 4 to 20 milliamp sensor adapter in the box that's connected to our GSM sensor hub. You might need additional or fewer holes. Drill the appropriate number of holes you require for the amount of cables you need going in and out of your box. Here Valarm founder, CEO and software engineer Lorenzo is using our trusty Milwaukee drill and a circular hole dozer saw to easily create three holes for our cable glands. Next, install your cable glands so they're nice and tight and will only let your cables in and keep out things that you don't want inside your box, like squirrels or bears. You're ready to add your industrial IoT sensors from shop.valarm.net. Here we've connected two sensors to the GSM sensor hub. One is a 4 to 20 MA sensor adapter that connects to a water level sensor, aka pressure transducer, for remotely monitoring fluid depths like tank levels, volumes, or water wells. The other is a PWM sensor adapter that connects to a water flow meter to monitor water usage. On the right side of the box, you see a power converter that drops the power from the solar charge converter to 5 volts, which goes directly into the sensor hub to power the hub and the attached sensors. Crimp wires to connect your step-down power converter to the load part of your solar charge controller. Last, crimp and connect the wires to your sealed lead-acid battery and to your solar panel that's outside of the box, getting a tan, bathing in the sunshine. 
Connect your sensors like the flow meter and pressure transducer you see here. Once everything's screwed down, then fire it up. You'll see the various lights turn on on the sensor hub, the sensors, the power converter, and the solar charge converter. Verify your solar charge converter says battery is charged and green and that your solar panels are properly connected and charging your battery. That's it. Here's a full tour of the Valarm remote monitoring box you just built. This water monitoring unit uses two industrial IoT sensors, a 4 to 20 MA pressure transducer or water level sensor, and a flow meter. Our customers most commonly use flow line and in situ brand level sensors and pressure transducers and flow meters made by micrometer. These sensors have cables that go into the box and send the sensor values to the 4 to 20 MA and PWM sensor adapters connected to the 3G GSM sensor hub. You'll mount your solar panel at the angle that's best for your deployment, which depends on your latitude and longitude. You can search the web for free tools that will tell you what angle and orientation is best for your solar panels based on your location on the planet. Inside the box, the sealed lead acid battery is being charged by the solar panels and keeps enough juice to run the industrial IoT box through the night after the sun sets or when it's kind of cloudy. Depending on the weather and climate in your location, you may want bigger or smaller solar panels or batteries. On the left side of the box are the 4 to 20 MA and PWM sensor adapters that connect to the water sensors outside of the box, which are deployed in the field. Your sensors connect to your sensor hub via micro USB cables and the power is controlled by the solar charge controller at the top of the box. That's everything. Now you can link your industrial IoT sensor box to Valarm Tools Cloud by using the device manager on tools.valarm.net. See our other videos for exact details on how to do this and please don't hesitate to contact us at info at valarm.net if you have any questions. Do you need remote sensor telemetry information on a web-based dashboard? We can help you with real-time web pages that have maps, graphs, widgets, styles, and other graphics that show you and your teams exactly what's going on with your remote assets in the field. You can receive alerts if a sensor value goes above or below your desired threshold and monitor your remote assets from any device with a web browser like your phone or tablet. See our customer stories and industrial IoT dashboards on www.valarm.net for more info. With Valarm, you really can monitor anything anywhere, whether you need to monitor tanks, air quality, industrial vehicles with industrial sensors, or any other industrial equipment. Please don't hesitate to get in touch by sending us an email to info at valarm.net or giving us a call at 424-442-0963.